Don't think, just do. A picture is a poem without words. Remember when life's path is steep to keep your mind even. The pen is the tongue of the mind. Mix a little foolishness with your serious plans. It is lovely to be silly at the right moment. Seize the day and put the least possible trust in tomorrow. Cease to inquire what the future has in store and take as a gift whatever the day brings forth. Pale death with impartial step knocks at the hut of the poor and the towers of kings. Anger is a short madness. A word once uttered can never be recalled. In laboring to be concise, I become obscure. I heart well prepared for adversity and bad times hopes, and in good times fears for a change in fortune. It is the false shame of fools to try to conceal wounds that have not healed. Sad people dislike the happy, and the happy the sad, the quick thinking the sedate, and the careless the busy and industrious. O oh, imitators, you slavish herd! No poems can please for long or live that are written by water drinkers. The greatest lesson in life is to know that even fools are right sometimes. If you would have me weep, you must first of all feel grief yourself. Whatever advice you give, be short. The lofty pine is oftenest shaken by the winds. High towers fall with a heavier crash, and the lightning strikes the highest mountain. You traverse the world in search of happiness, which is within the reach of every man. A contented mind confers it on all. Few cross the river of time and are able to reach non-being. Most of them run up and down only on this side of the river. But those who, when they know the law, follow the path of the law, they shall reach the other shore and go beyond the realm of death. Fidelity is the sister of justice. Fortune makes a fool of those she favors too much. When things are steep, remember to stay level-headed. It is of no consequence of what parents a man is born, as long as he be a man of merit. Time will bring to light whatever is hidden. It will cover up and conceal what is now shining in splendor. He who would begun has half done, dare to be wise, begin. Once a word has been allowed to escape, it cannot be recalled. He has not lived badly whose birth and death has been unnoticed by the world. Nothing's beautiful from every point of view. Adversity has the effect of eliciting talents, which in prosperous circumstances would have lain dormant. You may drive out nature with a pitchfork, yet she'll be constantly running back. Life grants nothing to us mortals without hard work. Begin, be bold, and venture to be wise. Pale death beats equally at the poor man's gate and at the palaces of kings. It is courage, courage, courage that raises the blood of life to crimson splendor. Live bravely and present a brave front to adversity. Adversity reveals genius. Prosperity conceals it. 
Wisdom is not wisdom when it is derived from books alone. Undeservedly you will atone for the sins of your fathers. Life is largely a matter of expectation. It is when I struggle to be brief that I become obscure. He who postpones the hour of living is like the rustic who waits for the river to run out before he crosses. Lawyers are men who hire out their words and anger. It is your concern when your neighbor's wall is on fire. I strive to be brief, but I become obscure. The envious man grows lean at the success of his neighbor. The foolish are like ripples on water, for whatsoever they do is quickly effaced, but the righteous are like carvings upon stone, for their smallest act is durable. What we learn only through the ears makes less impression upon our minds than what is presented to the trustworthy eye. Knowledge without education is but harmed injustice. He is armed without who is innocent within, be this thy screen, and this thy wall of brass. The one who cannot restrain their anger will wish undone what their temper and irritation prompted them to do. Money is a handmaiden, if thou knowest how to use it, a mistress, if thou knowest not. Make a good use of the present. Great effort is required to arrest decay and restore vigor. One must exercise proper deliberation, plan carefully before making a move, and be alert in guarding against relapse following a renaissance. Why do you hasten to remove anything which hurts your eye, while if something affects your soul you postpone the cure until next year? Your own safety is at stake when your neighbor's wall is ablaze. We are just statistics, born to consume resources. Who then is free? The wise man who can command himself. I teach that all men are mad. In adversity remember to keep an even mind. Leave the rest to the gods. Subdue your passion or it will subdue you. It is a sweet and seemly thing to die for one's country. I never think at all when I write. Nobody can do two things at the same time and do them both well. Labor diligently to increase your property. You must avoid sloth, that wicked siren. Choose a subject equal to your abilities. Think carefully what your shoulders may refuse and what they are capable of bearing. He has the deed half done who has made a beginning. A shoe that is too large is apt to trip one, and when too small, to pinch the feet. So it is with those whose fortune does not suit them. The disgrace of others often keeps tender minds from vice. Whoever cultivates the golden mean avoids both the poverty of a hovel and the envy of a palace. The power of daring anything their fancy suggests has always been conceded to the painter and the poet. Every old poem is sacred. Strange is it not that of the myriad who before us passed the door of darkness through, not one returns to tell us of the road which to discover we must travel to. 
Only a stomach that rarely feels hungry scorns common things. Let your literary compositions be kept from the public eye for nine years at least. Clogged with yesterday's excess, the body drags the mind down with it. If matters go badly now, they will not always be so. Refrain from asking what going to happen tomorrow, and every day that fortune grants you, count as gain. Usually the modest person passes for someone reserved, the silent for a sullen person. A word, once sent abroad, flies irrevocably. It is your business when the wall next door catches fire. If a man's fortune does not fit him, it is like the shoe in the story. If too large, it trips him up. If too small, it pinches him. He tosses aside his paint pots and his words a foot and a half long. I hate the irreverent rabble and keep them far from me. Suffering is but another name for the teaching of experience, which is the parent of instruction and the schoolmaster of life. This is a fault common to all singers, that among their friends they will never sing when they are asked, unasked, they will never desist. It is no great art to say something briefly when, like Tacitus, one has something to say. When one has nothing to say, however, and nonetheless writes a whole book and makes truth into a liar that I call an achievement. Mountains will go into labor and a silly little mouse will be born. Always keep your composure. You can't score from the penalty box and to win, you have to score. Avoid inquisitive persons, for they are sure to be gossips. Their ears are open to hear, but they will not keep what is entrusted to them. We are free to yield to truth. We rarely find anyone who can say he has lived a happy life, and who, content with his life, can retire from the world like a satisfied guest. It's a good thing to be foolishly gay once in a while. To have a great man for a friend seems pleasant to those who have never tried it, those who have fear it. Words will not fail when the matter is well considered. One wanders to the left, another to the right. Both are equally in error but are seduced by different illusions. No verse can give pleasure for long nor last that is written by drinkers of water. A host is like a general. Calamities often reveal his genius. Poets wish to profit or to please. We are often deterred from crime by the disgrace of others. While fools shun one set of faults, they run into the opposite one. The man is either mad or he is making verses. Why harass with eternal purposes a mind too weak to grasp them? Good sense is both the first principle and the parent source of good writing. A portion of mankind take pride in their vices and pursue their purpose. Many more waver between doing what is right and complying with what is wrong. A good and faithful judge ever prefers the honorable to the expedient. He gains everyone's approval who mixes the pleasant with the useful.